Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing. This is for the Wolf and Time Luna Lux box. I'm so excited to bring this to you guys because there are some changes with the company and the boxes that are offered and it's so, so exciting. Um, there is a little leaflet in there I saw. I peeked just so I could see if there's any information that I can share with you um, about it, but I will talk about that first just so I can get you guys all the new information about the boxes. And quick side note, I know nobody's probably waiting for this video, but I am still in the process of editing my true crime video. It's just been so busy for me lately with working full time and also doing my master's program online. So it's just been literally crazy. And I didn't realize how much work I guess would be put into not only just like researching and filming the video, but actually editing a video that long. It literally took me like over an hour to film. So it'll take me quite a long time to actually edit everything. So yeah, that's been taking a lot longer than I expected and anticipated. So hopefully that will be up very soon. Um, and I know I, like I said, nobody's like waiting for it, but I thought I'd give an update because I really did think this was going to be posted like two videos ago, but here we are. I saw this came in the mail anyway. And I was like, yeah, scratch the true crime. I have to film this unboxing and get this out because I'm so excited. So that is the plan for right now. I will get this video out and then hopefully fingers crossed my next one will be the true crime one, but it's a good one. So I guess hopefully it'll be worth it. All right. So I'm going to hop in to this box and grab the leaflet quickly to just go over some of the new changes for the box. All right, here it is. It says announcement of changes as our wolf pack grows, our business evolves. And with your help on our last survey, we are making some changes. March will be the last month for the Luna subscriptions. Any Luna mid tier six to eight items will have their subscriptions stopped. And we will only have that box periodically on the website. If you have a prepaid account, you will automatically get pushed up to the Luna Lux for the remainder of your prepaid term. If you already have a subscription to the Luna Lux and you'll be given a credit on your account, this does not apply to monthly subscriptions or one-time purchases. There's no need to resubscribe to the Wolf and Time or the Luna Lux if you already have them. So essentially, they are getting rid of the Luna box, which is the middle size box. There is the Wolf and Time, the Luna, and the Luna Lux box. So essentially, they're just taking away the middle size box option, which is the Luna box, just so they can bring something brand new for you guys. So starting in April, the new boxes will be as following. The first is the Artist's Den, which is three to five items and is $18.50 a month. This will include three five by seven original art prints for altars, journaling, grimoires, book of shadow pages, info cards, affirmations, etc. And as a bonus, you will get stickers or journal accessories comes in a protective envelope and ships worldwide between the fourth through the 11th or of the following month. So essentially this is the best. If you are somebody who is into being very crafty in your book of shadows or in your grimoire, and you like doing those personal touches, if you like kind of junk journaling, this is totally going to be your jam because there's going to be stuff in there that can help you add to your creation. Um, I personally wish I was like better and more creative at doing stuff like that. I'm the type of person where like when I first got my book of shadows, I was literally just writing in the front of my book. I was doing like a little protective spell and like, I didn't like my handwriting in it. So I literally got a brand new book just so I could start over again. That's the type of person I am. I'm not like the type of, Oh, you just go with it. If it doesn't look that pretty or nice, like it's fine. Like, no, I want it to be perfect. And that's why for like the longest time I was just typing everything on a Google doc and I called it my ebook of shadows because I'm just like, so like anxious about things not looking a certain way. So yeah, long story short, I am just like so particular in the way I do things and I'm not the most creative artistic person. Um, so, but if you are that type of person, this is going to be perfect for you because it can help create those visions that you might have for your book of shadows and really make it a beautiful piece, um, and have some nice additions to the book that you're creating. So that is a really awesome thing that she's offering. It also is really perfect because she's an artist herself. So she can contribute a lot in that sense where it's really creative handmade pieces, um, that could be introduced to your book her prints too, if you've seen them, uh, in all of the other boxes that I've gotten, I have gotten prints from Kat. She is the creator and curator for the Wolf and Time boxes. And she gives prints in every single one of the boxes, which is absolutely amazing. They're phenomenal. It's like blows my mind that she's able to create these. Um, and she has a YouTube channel where she films herself into the ritual that she has when she creates these paintings. So definitely go check that out. I'll link her channel down below. But yeah, if you are into being creative and being more artistic in your journaling or in your book of shadows, your grimoire or anything like that, if you just like doing like bullet journaling, um, this is a great option for you. The next size is the Wolf and Time box. This is not a new box. This is just the same exact box. I have opened this one in the past. That one has five items and is $28 a month. This will include a crystal, high quality theme related spiritual tools, artwork, and a ritual. 
The change is that it'll always be five items. It won't be three to five anymore. There will be no more teas, no more diverse artwork, and more rituals and holistic care. That one also ships out worldwide between the 4th and the 11th of the following month. So again, the only change to this one is that it'll consistently be five items. It won't be the three to five. Um, so you could always know that when you get a box, there will be five items in it. And they are just going to be taking away the tea and more like artistic related things, just because those are going to be included in the artist and box. And the final box is not a new box. Again, this is a box that has existed in the past. There are just some little additions and kind of switches to how it is. This particular one will be 10 items and is $68 a month. This will include a premium crystal, high quality theme related spiritual tools, holistic and herbal self care artwork, rituals, artisan handmade items, DIY kits, occasional teas, a handmade lunar card, oracle card, and more. So the changes to this one is that it is always going to be 10 items. It'll no longer be 10 to 12. It'll be $10 less per month. So it used to be $78 a month and now it is 68. So the price has decreased. There will be occasional teas versus monthly teas. There will be more items requested from the survey. So she did send out a survey to see what people would actually be interested in getting. And through those responses, she will kind of adjust the items that will be sent. There'll be no more hair or body care products, which is a little sad. I really did enjoy getting those. That was like a really cool thing that's very specific to her, but I guess based off of the survey, just some people weren't jiving with that, um, which is totally fine. It's always about like going and doing what the majority of people like. So even though I particularly love those, the next person who gets the box might. So that's totally fine. Always improving in the direction that can benefit the majority of the people. And then there will be less bath salts and more diverse artwork. So just some other changes that will make it a little bit more applicable to everybody and just have everybody in mind when, you know, considering what people are actually looking for. So all good things. It's always going to be 10 items. Um, and this one is going to have the occasional tea. It's going to be less expensive. So if the price was something that was holding you back, this is something that might be a little bit more manageable for you now. So just really great changes for this particular box. And again, this one ships out the same exact time frame as the other two between the 4th and the 11th of the following month. Those are all of the monthly subscription box options now. And like I mentioned in my last unboxing, there is an addition of a brand new box. This is going to be a quarterly subscription box, so it won't be monthly. It'll be four times a year for every single quarter of the year. And it is called the Bone and Steel Box. So this is a men's Viking Northern and Celtic Path Magic with five to seven items and it is $38. This is available for purchase every quarter for the March, June, September, and December boxes. It is a one-time purchase and not an auto pay. You can sign up for it prior to each quarter launch on the website. The box is geared towards the path of the Viking, Northern, and Celtic man, but is gender neutral and can be enjoyed by anyone. This will include a crystal, spiritual tools, self-care, magic, rituals, artwork, and more. So if you are somebody that is very more culturally attuned, or if you connect a lot with deities that are from those specific areas, like if you are into Celtic gods and goddesses, this might be a particular box that is attractive to you because it connects more to something that you're interested in. So it's something to look into if you want to add that to your subscription boxes. It is just a quarterly box. It's not something that is billed monthly. So it's something that maybe if you are interested in getting once or twice, or if you wanted all four, that's something that you could look into as well. And the final new addition is now there is a loyalty program. So it says we have a loyalty karma points program where you earn rewards for purchases, subscriptions, and more. They are retroactive. So it will count any past purchases on your website account and can be used towards discounts, credit, VIP benefits, and bonuses. When you get all three monthly subscriptions, your points accelerate and you get even more rewards and discounts. Thank you for your support and for being part of the Wolfpack XO. So just really great things are happening. Um, I love rewards, points, and little incentives. I think that's so awesome that she's able to introduce that to the website. It just makes it really fun um, to have. So yeah, those are all the changes for this upcoming time, I guess forever now. These are the upcoming changes that will be in place after this month. So if you are interested in getting any of the boxes, definitely look on the website for additional information to any of this. Um, but yeah, let's hop into this box now. I'm just gonna pull this right off top because it is so cute. It is a little sticker with mushrooms. They're so cute. Love, love, love those little mushrooms. I try not to ruin the stickers as much as possible because they're so cute. Inside is a card. It's like little animals and it's like super pretty gold foiled and the back says Wolf and Time Luna Lux box. Ooh, this is a really pretty print. Melissa, thank you for reviewing our box. We have sent you the Lunalux box, which has 10 items. Again, the Lunalux box only will have 10 items forever now. No between numbers. It is always going to be 10. 
$68 per month or less if you order a prepaid subscription plus shipping. The theme for this month is tranquility and is focused on rituals and spiritual self-care to bring you inner peace. Yes, I need this. I need some self-care, you guys. I've totally been ignoring myself and I've said that for a while and I feel like that's why some people are bummed I haven't been making like more witchy related videos lately. And in all honesty, like being totally honest, it's just because I have been severely neglecting my practice and focusing on myself. I just, I really have been slacking in my own like self-care department and yeah, it bums me out, but like it doesn't feel right making a video about something or like an informative video if I'm really not practicing what I'm preaching, like, you know what I mean? I want to make a video when it's something that I'm, you know, already doing and I'm super proud of and I just, I'm just really excited to talk about it and I feel like I'm not really doing anything right now that is of any use to anybody, you know? I, I could sit and like, you know, come up with a script and have it, but I feel like that's not very authentic. Like, I wanna share something that I'm working on in the moment and I've really just not been working on much of anything in the moment. So I'm really upset about that. I do wanna get back into it. It's just been difficult getting back in the swing of things. It doesn't feel like normal yet still. It's taken a long time for me to really acclimate to our new like living situation and where we are and the new job and it, it's just a lot. I'm juggling a lot right now. Um, I think also just because I started school and I wasn't doing that at all before, it's taken a lot away from my like personal time. So I would say I have great time management skills, but with all of the stuff that's on my plate, I don't think anybody would be able to really be able to juggle everything. It's just a lot. So let me stop blabbering, but essentially that's why I've not been doing much videos that are witchy related. I know you guys want to see that and I've been getting a lot of requests for that, but that's the reason why I haven't been putting those out. I just really haven't been making the time for it for myself either. So I could really use some self-care. I'm sure all these items will be super helpful in that because I really would love to get back on track. Oh my God, that's so nice. It says next month's theme as well, which I don't remember if any of the past boxes have ever said what the next month's theme was, but I think that's really nice to just include that just so you can have something to look forward to. The next month's theme is healing roots, which will focus on plant magic, protecting and using trees in the forest, honoring Arbor and Earth Day, and healing the roots of your family and yourself. Yes, I love that. I love like nature themed things, just like connecting to nature and being back in the environment. It just feels so grounding and so nice. So I think that box is gonna be absolutely amazing. It says, enjoy your box and I send you many blessed moons, cat. So sweet. This is like a really pretty print too. Everything about how the packaging is, is just amazing. Just shows how much of an artist she is. This top part again is, Ooh, a new sticker. These look like they come from the same sticker pack. And this is the information about everything that is in the box. This is what I read when I do my little close-ups on everything. I'm just gonna read the top just because there is a little paragraph on top that explains some of the box. It says, it is time to take a little moment just for you with the Luna Lux box from The Wolf and Time. The theme this month is tranquility with the focus on self-reflection and inner healing. We work with ritual, past life regression, scrying and self-love to bring peace into your heart while grounding your soul. Ooh, I love that it has scrying in there. I've always wanted a scrying mirror or like an obsidian disc or something just to be able to scry. Um, I've been meaning to get like a really cool, just like, you can get a frame at like Michael's or like Hobby Lobby or something. And if you like paint the back of it black and then put a black piece of construction paper in it, it makes it like really, really dark. And you can use that as like a DIY scrying mirror. So I've literally been dying to do that, but I've never gotten around to it. So if there is something about scrying in here, I am very excited about that. I'm not gonna peek at this though. I like to be excited and open it with you guys on camera. So I'm gonna set this aside, but you will hear me talk about everything in detail um, once I do some close-up shots on all the items. Oh, no! A wolf! I'm trying to take a thumbnail, but I just saw this and this is like my favorite one so far, I think. Wolves are like so special to me. Obviously my channel name is Melissa Wolf. That's not my real last name. I feel like people ask all the time. They're like, oh, is Wolf your last name? It is not. I wish my last name was Wolf. That's really cool. Um, but wolves are just super special to me. They've like been my favorite animal for quite a long time. I have a wolf tattoo. Like I love wolves. Um, and I think that's another reason why I'm so connected to like Wolf and Time. And like, I just love their mission and the fact that they donate to like the Wolf Conservation Center. I actually went there for Valentine's Day last year. And yeah, I just, I love wolves. So this, I love all her prints, but this one has to be one of my favorites. I think this is my favorite. Oh my God, it's packaged so pretty. My gosh. I mean, it's always packaged pretty, but I feel like I didn't, they didn't juggle it around too much in the shipping. So now it's like so like packed. It's really, really nice. Let me take my 
thumbnail. I'm so stoked about this one. So pretty, has her signature on the bottom and a really pretty little wax seal. It's absolutely beautiful. Love the details in the fur. So pretty. This is an absolutely beautiful print. Wolf in Time is an original watercolor painting by Kat Grady of our mascot, Wolf, looking deep into your eyes while sitting peacefully in a field of time. To give back to these amazing animals, we have symbolically adopted two endangered Mexican gray wolves from the Wolf Conservation Center. We will also be doing a monthly donation to them in addition to the adoption donation to help them continue their mission and to protect our pack friends. To learn more, visit our website and meet the faces of our wolves, Rosa and Lighthawk. It's actually really amazing because this specific conservation center is the one that we went to on Valentine's Day and we actually symbolically adopted a mating pair of Mexican gray wolves as well. So I so, so appreciate this mission and what they're doing. It's just really amazing for the wolves. This next item looks to be like a little thing you put a candle on. It has these little, little dots on the bottom and it's just a little black holder. I have candle holders just like this that I got off of Amazon. So there is this here. I'm not sure what the purpose is that they wrote about this, but it is like a little plate. The plate that is in your box either comes in black, copper, or bronze and is great for resting your smudge sticks on as they burn out while keeping your area fire safe. It is a tool you can place on your altar or wherever you need your smudge sticks close by. Never leave an open flame on the plate. Always wait for it to go in a smoking stage with the fire out. Next in this little box. Ooh, look at this opalite pendant. That is so pretty. As always, if you guys haven't seen any of my unboxings, everything has this really pretty moss in here as some like protection for it when it's in transit. I'm just gonna open this right here so it doesn't fall out. This is so pretty. Let me show you guys. This is a wire wrapped opalite um, crescent moon. I love wire wrap, oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Look how cute that is. And it has like a tree of life design on it. There we go, now you guys can see. That is so pretty. I'm obsessed with that. Opalite has always been like super pretty to me, just with all the rainbow colors in it. And I love a good wire wrap, that's so pretty. I wonder if she made this. I've loved wire wrap and I've wanted to get into it myself for so long, but it takes a lot. I'm so impressed by people who do wire wrap. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I do believe she did probably make this because she literally makes everything. She can make so many different things, so much talent. Your handmade moon pendant has been carved out of opalite crystal and hand wired with the tree of life on the front. It is laced on a silver chain and nestled in a bed of mountain moss. The glow from the rainbow aura gives a sense of looking into the night sky at the stars and the soft hue of the moon. Opalite is known to represent personal power, helps you grow your self-esteem, builds your inner strength and to express your deeper feelings. Coupled with the tree of life, this powerful talisman will support your personal development, your individual beauty, the strength to grow, and new wisdom for your path. Hold it close when you need a reminder that you are made from the universe as a unique and special soul. Move on to this next little box. Aw, is this like a hair comb? This is so sweet. Oh my gosh, guys. It's like a little resin hair comb thing like that you could put decorative in like a bun or something. That is so, so sweet. It looks super vintage-y, like antique. I don't have obviously anything that I could put this in right now, but like you could put that in a bun if you have your hair up in like a little bun and put that in as like a little sweet little comb. I don't have anything like this. This is so cute. We have a precious piece of jewelry for your hair in this month's collection by the magical Bumblebee Fern. The antique brass hair comb fits any style or length and can be used when you need help with peace, self-love, and encouragement for your day. The front resin jewel was created using rose, rose quartz, and dream salts. The ritual performed to make them use dream salts in a circle, roses all around with love and happiness oil. Full intentional energy was used to handcraft them and they are a powerful tool for you. It can also be adorned on your altar, in your vanity area, or by your mirror. You can find more items from Bumblebee Fern at bumblebeebotanica.com, which is a woman-owned small artisan business. Next, ooh, this is so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys before I open it because I'm gonna open it over this bin just so I don't get any of these everywhere. But it is a probably one of the ritual kits, I'm assuming, because it has the scroll. 
and there are a lot of ritual kits that come in these boxes that are amazing. This particular bag has a little item that is wrapped in a bag and it also has some herbs at the bottom which look to be um, a mix of maybe like lavender, just a couple different herbs in there as well. This is Tranquility Candle Ritual. So it comes with a candle, an anointing oil, lavender cornflower, albizia petals. I actually don't know what that is, what flower that is. Pen and matches, pillar candle holder or bowl of salt. And then it goes through um, how to do the ritual. I will just hold this up so you can pause and read this if you want to. So that is the little ritual. And I love how the background of this, like this piece of paper, has a little wolf just in the background. It's the little details that seriously mean so much. And I've said this before in previous videos, but I love getting rituals in boxes. I know some people might not like that because they want to get all of their own stuff and they want to kind of create it on their own and that's totally fine. But I think this is great for somebody like if you are just like crazy busy and like you feel like you don't have that much time, you're getting overwhelmed. I like to incorporate magic into little parts of my day like when I'm making tea or something or like visualizing when I'm in the shower or just like little things incorporating into my life. I always do actually like sitting and like creating a ritual and like taking time out of it sometimes could be a little uh, lengthy of a process depending on what you're doing. So being able to just have a box that, you know, gives you a ritual that you could do that will make you feel really amazing is really nice to have. It's also great if you are just beginning your practice and you're not really having a lot of stuff like me, for example, I don't have a lot of herbs still. I stocked up on essential oils. I have a bunch of rocks and crystals. Um, but one thing that I myself am definitely lacking and would love to get more of is herbs. Um, I just really am not too knowledgeable about herbs. I don't have that green thumb. Um, green magic is like not my forte. I did get a book on it because I would love to get better at it and really look more into herbs and like different magical correspondences when it comes to using different types of herbs and flowers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, having something like that is really great if you are just a beginner and you might not have everything already that you might want to use in a spell. So I absolutely love when rituals come in subscription boxes. So this particular one here, I think this is the oil. Let's see. Oops. Yes, this is the oil. Let me smell this because her oils always smell so good. All her creations. It smells so good. I definitely smell lavender and lavender is one of my favorite scents ever. This smells super relaxing. I mean, anything relaxing and lavender goes hand in hand. This is also great too. Like if you have a bath and you don't want these particular herbs to get everywhere, you can just take this, go like this to the top. So it's like a tea bag. You're basically taking this and steeping it in your bath. You don't have to let them all go loose. If that cleanup is like annoying to you or something, or if you don't particularly like having things floating in your bath, if that like freaks you out a little bit. Um, you can definitely just leave it in these bags. That's why it's really amazing that she utilizes bags like this. Um, also this is amazing. If you are somebody that does not have a bath, if you have an apartment that doesn't have a bath or if your home doesn't have a bath, you can put this just in the bottom of your shower, which is so amazing. Anybody can use it. It's really super user friendly, um, which I love about this. Cause some people just, if, even if they have a bath, they just don't like taking baths. This next one I'm sure is the candle feels like a pillar candle. Everything is wrapped so pretty. Like, yep. This is a pillar candle. I love these types of candles. I have a really pretty candle like holders. It's like one is a sun, one is a moon and one is a star. I'm looking at them right now. I haven't used them in a while because it's on top of our like fireplace and I don't want to get wax all over it. But like, those are my favorite, favorite, th favorite things to light. Um, when I did and I love pillar candles. They're just so pretty to watch. So this is the final part of the ritual that we got. This ritual candle kit comes with the candle, which is white soy wax, eco tapered long candle wrapped separately. And in the separate sachet bag comes the herbs, which is lavender, cornflower, albizia petals, the scroll, which includes the full ritual for tranquility, and the anointing oil, which is fractioned coconut oil, golden jojoba oil, tranquility blends oil, and rose quartz chips. You have everything you need included in this kit to help you with your candle magic. Put your own intentional energy into its creation, ground yourself in a peaceful place, and enjoy the process.
This is a little brown bag with these adorable moon stickers. These are some of my favorite stickers that she uses. This here is a little bundle of Palo Santo. I don't know what this is. I'm really bad with my herbs, you guys. It's like Palo Santo, some dried flowers, probably the flowers that were said in that list, um, and then another type of herb, all wrapped in this little bundle with some rope. That is it's there. This handmade smudge stick in your collection was created using the lavender and rosemary dried from my garden. The Palo Santo stick is from fallen sustainable branches and hails from the holy tree on the coast of South America. The rose petals were dried and added from the blossoms given to me by my husband on Valentine's Day, so they are infused with great love and energy. It is all wrapped up in a natural hemp string so that you can cleanse your space and yourself of negative energy. Fill yourself with happiness, create serenity, and bless your tools. Next, oh my gosh, is this, this is a sphere. This is a sphere because I feel a stand. Ooh, a peach moonstone. This is such a pretty peach moonstone. And it comes with its own little baby holder. That's so pretty. I love little stands like this. This one's like super earthy, like a, um, like a wooden one. I love that. Peach moonstone is a feldspar mineral and is found all over the world. Its element is the wind and clears the crown, third eye, and sacral chakras. Peach moonstone brings soothing relief to emotional imbalance and pain. It helps with depression, anger, anxiety, and gives loving divine energy to soothe all situations. It is especially nurturing to empathetic and sensitive souls and children. It has been revered by many cultures as a sacred stone to help reconcile estranged lovers, cure sleepiness, see the future, and gain the moon's favor. Place it in your hand-carved wooden stand and draw its peaceful energy to you. We have peach moonstone um, stone bead bracelets at my job that are so beautiful. And like, I'm not into like peachy pink tones very much, um, but that particular bracelet is so pretty. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with it. And I used to hate stretchy bracelets too. Like everybody loves stretchy bracelets. It's like a huge thing at my job. And I was always like, mm, I don't know how I feel about them. I've only ever owned one and it's a tiger's eye bracelet. And just recently I bought two more. I'm like, who am I? Next. Ooh, is this a book? That is so cute. This is Mirrors of Time. Using regression for physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Includes a past life regression audio download. This is so, so cute. I love when there are like small little books like this that you can read like very easily. And you learn so much from these small little books. I feel like, especially if you're not a reader, like I enjoy reading to an extent. That was another request I got is books that I enjoy. I haven't been reading a lot lately. Again, I haven't really had much time, which is why I haven't made that video. Um, but I enjoy reading sometimes. I have to be like in a mood for it. So if you're like me and you like are on again off, you're not like a true reader, little books like this are really nice to incorporate because it doesn't feel so crazy. Like I could never sit and read the Harry Potter books because it's like this big. I don't know how I read the Twilight series when I was in middle school. I don't know how I did that, but now I'm like, these type of books are like my thing. I love small books that I feel really accomplished by the time I'm done reading. I haven't done really too much regression work if I'm being honest. I feel like it is definitely hard to like open up wounds and stuff. Um, I'm in the process of doing more like shadow work just to try to like pick apart parts of myself, but not really much like regression of parts that have hurt me. Mostly like why I'm a shitty person, basically. <laughs> like why am I, you know, feeling a certain way? Why I might be not the best person to be around? Like that's the type of the work I'm doing right now. Um, but doing some regression work and kind of learning why I feel certain ways and maybe like things that have hurt me in the past and understanding them and coming to terms with them being able to heal from those wounds. Um, I feel like that's an important thing that even though it's like difficult, it could be really, really beneficial and positive in the long run. This magical book is by the same author of Many Lives, Many Masters and helps you use regression for physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. It includes a past life regression audio download. It helps you revisit your past, have closure, and then move forward as a whole person in this life so you can know peace. Brian L. Weiss is a renowned author and graduate of Columbia University and Yale School of Medicine. He helps guide you through meditation, breathing, and visualization exercises with a gentle technique. I am a big fan of his work. He has really opened my mind to connection of the past life experiences with current issues, and I hope you can keep an open heart so you can get the same kind of wisdom that I have gleaned from it. Ooh, consistency. This is a beautiful oracle card. I wonder what deck this is from. I mean, I'll say it in the thing, but... 
Look at how pretty that imagery is. She looks so ethereal with that beautiful sun. This is the back of it. Looks very Celtic. The sun has like wrinkles and a mustache. It's so funny. You have been given an intuitively drawn oracle card from the Sacred Earth Oracle deck by Tony Carmine, Salerno and Leela J. Williams, and Helena Nelson Reed. Each card is a masterwork of art with in-depth illustration that connects you to Mother Earth for practical and spiritual guidance. Meditate on the card you have received and work with its message to bring you tranquility. Gibbous moon. She moves the sea and lights the dark trail. She guides the ship in the night as you sail. She calls to the wolf. It's howl she does love. We draw down her power from the starry sky above. Oh my gosh, that's a poem by Kat. She wrote that. She's amazing. What the heck? She's an artist. She can write poetry. She makes jewelry. Like, what the heck? That's amazing. I've always loved like the poems that rhyme for some reason, like that like sing songiness quality to them is just so satisfying to me. I love that. I don't like haikus. I'm not a haiku type of girl, but I love poems that rhyme. Definition, a moon that is more than a half moon, but less than a full, a waxing gibbous is when it is gaining light to be full and the waning gibbous is losing light to be new again. Magical properties, the waxing is grounding, adjusting, commitment, refining, manifesting clarity, gain and creation. Spells to do during this moon phase are success, good wealth, attraction, and motivation. The crystal for this moon phase is citrine. The waning moon is associated with gratitude, open heart, letting go, breaking free, receiving, nurturing others, and re-evaluating. Spells during this time could be cleansing, relinquishing, undoing bindings and curses. The crystal is smoky quartz. The yoga pose is bow or bow. I'm sorry, I'm really not good with yoga poses. When I do like my yoga, my stretching at the end of the day, I literally just like flap around and do whatever feels nice. Like I don't watch actual yoga videos. Um, and the herb is thistle, which is good for strength, protection, healing, exorcism, and hex breaking. So that is just a little informative card. This is really good as just like a little insert to your book of shadows or your um, grimoire if you just want to pop this right in as a little informational card um, I definitely will be doing that I love it I'm trying to be a little bit better about just like putting stuff right in and kind of be accepting of it not being just like perfect it doesn't have to be glued in you can just put it in so trying to be a little bit more accepting of that and just like opening myself up to just letting loose a little bit more so I definitely would love to put this in my book um, which will be really really beautiful I didn't even realize that this was technically supposed to be a Book of Shadows print, but apparently it is, so I had a good guess. Your Luna Book of Shadows print is all about Gibbous Moon and is a 5x7 so it could fit into any journal. It was made just for this box and was created to help you with knowledge and wisdom on this unique moon phase. It includes a special poem I wrote, the definition and the magical properties of both the waxing and waning gibbous. Let me just get in this box because this is the last one, I believe, of the box. Oh, and it's the biggest one. This is like not a very stable surface that I'm on. This is a massive box. As you can see, it's bigger than my head. Let's open her up and see what is inside. Ooh, and styrofoam. It's super protected. Sorry, I got stuff in my hair. Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's a mirror. It is the most beautiful mirror, you guys. It is a wolf mirror, a wolf scrying mirror. Are you literally joking me? Look at how pretty this is. <gasps> I'm gonna try not to show you guys yourself, but oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. The fact that it's a wolf, like it fits so well with the theme of the box. Obviously it's Wolf and Time is a company name, but like wolves are so special. I just love this. It's a beautiful mirror, holy cow. I don't know what this material is, but it's heavy. Wow, this is so, so pretty. Even if you just like, don't wanna use this for scrying, if you just wanna keep this on your vanity, that is freaking beautiful. I don't have any mirror like this. I really wanted to get um, the Kat Von D, like, what is it? It was like a, a wax seal. I loved that hand mirror, but I never got it. And I mean, I don't think Kat Von D is really doing anything anymore with that brand. It's KVD Vegan Beauty now anyway. But now I have a hand mirror. I don't have any hand mirrors and this one is just gorgeous. Wow, I'm like speechless. This is my favorite thing we've ever gotten in this box. Holy cow.
We have been working with the craftsperson to make this beautiful hand sculpted wolf head mirror for this special box. It is cast in resin and covered in copper to reflect an older time and place and is completely unique to wolf and time. Use the mirror for your scrying practice to gaze in and wander your stare. Let your eyes blur into the mirror and go deep into your third eye. Meditate on the visions and symbols you are given and ask your guides to help you on your inner journey. You can also use this mirror to tell yourself affirmations, positive self-talk, and encouragement while bringing yourself into a state of peace and tranquility each time you use it. Just holding it in my hand, I feel like I'm being transported to a different realm where anything is possible and I am strong. Yeah, I'm blown away. I think this is my favorite box we've gotten out of all the boxes. Like, I'm just gonna go out and say that right now because like, I'm totally blown away by everything that was in it. The print, the jewelry, the hair pin, the ritual kit, the sphere. I'm, I'm like looking at everything, the book, this mirror, like, yeah, no, this one hit it out of the park for me. Seriously, <laughs> I'm like totally amazed and I'm so excited for all the amazing changes that are coming for her business. So, so happy for her and the growth that she's seen um, through this time of making these boxes. Um, yeah, very, very happy for her because she totally deserves it. She works so hard and these boxes come out amazing. Um, and I'm very grateful to be able to get these and to be able to review them for you guys. So yeah, I'm like, I'm still holding this because I'm in love. I'm obsessed with this. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll leave everything linked down below in the description, including all of my past unboxings. If you're interested in seeing some other boxes we've gotten, like I said, I've unboxed the Wolf in Time and the Luna Lux. I do still have some Luna boxes up there as well, but those won't be boxes that will be available now in the future. Um, but you could take a look at those as well, just to see what type of items are included in the boxes. Yeah, I'm so, so stoked with this box, you guys. It was absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.